Welcome back to the second episode of our horror movie picks and recommendations. My name is Felipe. And I'm Elmo, presenting to you some of the hottest picks you can possibly choose to watch during this October Halloween season. That's right. This is the time, everybody. This is the time everyone decides, you know what? I'm going to grow a pair. And I'm going to start watching some scary movies because it's October. We're well into October. People are in the mood. So we're here to help you get spooked. Get spooked, everybody. Keep it spooked, everybody. All right. So last time I went first Mm -hmm. with my uh, pick. Do you want to go first this time? I'll absolutely go first. Uh, You'd have to be crazy to not let me go first. You'd have to be so crazy that some would call you insane. Maybe even call you deranged. Or maybe even call you a maniac. (laughs) And uh, so uh, what I wanted to present to our audience here is a movie that I don't know if it picked up much publicity, for lack of a better term. Very under the radar, I would say. uh, You ever watched Lord of the Rings? (laughs) I have. You know Elijah Wood? Yep. He plays a creepy little punk in this movie right here. <laughs> um, so, Maniac. It is yeah. uh, a movie that takes place entirely entirely from the first-person perspective. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, uh, as a fan of movies that do sound a little different, usually I'm used to like the, the main character being like the one who's trying to outrun the big bad or save others. Yeah, the main character is the good guy. Mm-hmm. But in this case, you're following Elijah Wood, who you very soon learn uh, is not the good guy. Yeah, he's got a couple problems, some mm-hmm. would say. And I, I actually really like this film because it scared me more than most. And first of all, I, I, I enjoy all types of horror films, but this one is one that uh, goes in a realistic direction. Mm-hmm. And I'm always a bigger fan of those. Right. Um, As we mentioned in our very first yes. episode. Make sure you search that one out if, you have, if you're hearing this one first for some reason. But this is a film that it had me scared for his victims because you're seeing it from his perspective and you don't want him to win right. at all. But, but, you know, obviously at some point he's going he's gonna to get something good coming his way uh, and from his perspective. Mm-hmm. And it just it, it terrified me because I could see it happening in real life. Yeah, and seeing it from the perspective of the person who was doing it and justifying those actions, that horrified me more than any ghost could. That is a solid explanation mm-hmm. of that film. And, and this movie, I mean, it, it features Elijah Wood, so it's like, oh, I know this guy, Lord of the Rings, and everything. Man, he's such a kind soul. No, but he he plays that role impeccably. And hearing a little bit about how they filmed that movie is is fascinating to me in general. I won't go into that because that's not why we're here. But right. Um, the way they play with the dynamic of you are the murderer mm-hmm. in this case. You're seeing it through his eyes. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a very, I was going to say tastefully done. It is not tasteful at all. <laughs> but uh, it, 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 it made me never want to trust Elijah Wood again. <laughs> yeah, he's not kidding. I do have an Elijah Wood movie that he's, uh, he's also a uh, horror it also a horror based Elijah Wood movie and uh, I've recommended it various times and he just does not want to bite to watch it so I'm one good. day we'll get to it I'm good no, we'll get he to it he did his damage to me <laughs> but he, it, it's very well acted um, and I would say is is probably one of my favorite <clears throat> horror movies of all time yeah you brought that one up on multiple occasions okay well that is a solid choice Alma. but I'm about to blow it away nah I'm just kidding now, we're not here to compare, but here is my recommendation, okay? Now, this one is a little bit of a cheat, only because I'm selecting two movies. And in kind of, I'm selecting like 10 movies, <laughs> <laughs> if you really think about it. So, uh, what I have chosen here is VHS, specifically VHS 1 and 2, not viral. That's three. We're not talking about that one today. We don't like that one. That one is not as good. It had some moments, but VHS 1 and 2 is where it shines. Okay. So are you familiar with Anthology? It's a a selection of smaller pieces put into one. You are very correct. 
the anthology subgenre of horror movies they're becoming popular due to having tighter mini horror sto- uh, horror movies uh, that get right to the point and quicker to the scares because you know sometimes movies have that build up they got a lot of exposition and it takes them a while before you start seeing stuff happening because these are shorter run times on these little mini films you get right to the point like you get you get right into it right and um and that's actually a positive as well because if you don't like a direction one of the movies is going it's short you know it's going to end relatively soon so you can you know you'll know that if you're not feeling one of these you know it's going to be over relatively soon you're going to move on to the next thing and see what that what that has to offer okay so uh, VHS is a series that I think does the best when it comes to the anthology. Um, it's neat because they're all so different from each other in theme, uh, but they're still loosely tied together uh, with them being filmed with like the older tech, obviously, called mm-hmm. VHS, um, and the overarching uh, story about these found yeah, there's a, cursed there's a, tapes. There's a narrative between the pieces of the anthology. Yeah, you're watching these tapes as part of what's happening in the narrative and the story. So, without Someone, someone's putting in those tapes, yeah. So Sounds you see, well. you see these people doing some things. It's gonna be kind of spoilery. They eventually find this warehouse uh, full of tapes, and they start popping them in, and then they plays, and that's when the movie starts. That's when the minis start. Okay. Um, each of these range anywhere between aliens, zombies, religious cults, uh, unknown entities, things like that. Like it's it's a little bit of everything for everybody. Like it's it's in this. Okay. Um, and uh, to me, a VHS two uh, specifically has probably one of the scariest movies in quotes because it's a short that I've ever seen in my life, and it still haunts me. It was one <laughs> of the scariest movie nights we've ever had uh, to me. And um, we had some newbies that day to horror, and it was great to see their reactions because that was even kind of rough for me. So VHS is, um, again, a collection of the movies, and I think they do it better. Because, it, it, again, it's, it's, um, there's a lot of movies that do this concept. There's, like, one called XX. It's featuring all female directors. There's the ABCs of Death, yeah. which uh, whew, there's some stuff in that. But VHS um, takes that concept, shortens it to just a few of them, and for the most part, there's quality there. And no. I think uh, it is definitely under the radar and should be seen by more eyes. Now, the one that you said was your favorite, like, could you tell me a little bit, like, just what's the setup there at all? Or, like, the vaguest setup possible? Oh, the, the one, the, the scariest one? That one really, that, that got you. That was the one where, I think it's like a, um, a student project or something, and they're going in this, I think it's in Indonesia? Okay. You remember the one I'm talking yes. about? And they're uh, doing a project on a religious cult, okay? And then when they're in there, Let shenanigans happen. Some shenanigans happened, and it just goes directions you would not expect. So, very horrifying. <laughs> so yeah, VHS one and two, and uh, and just as a little aside, VHS ninety four is coming out real real soon. I think it's actually out. We're just gonna watch it real real soon. Right. And uh, I am very hyped to see if they can redeem themselves from viral. Because quickly, on viral, you're using GoPros. That's not a VHS. <laughs> okay? All right. That's my problem with that okay. one. But <laughs> uh, Anyways, that is my pick for horror. Mm-hmm. So if you're on a YouTube version, make sure to comment who you think has the better option. Myself, Elmo, or Felipe. We're not here to compare. Them. These here people to might get, not have even seen here the here movies. We're here to get the likes. We're here to get the feedback. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're right. We need some likes. But we also, you know, we do have an alternative form of our show where you can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, and other podcasts. uh, Google Podcasts. Yes. So check us out there Mm -hmm. and drop us a like. Yeah. Follow us on Twitter. At ED underscore discussions. And don't forget to keep keep it it educated. educated. (laughs) We'll just leave that one. And keep it discussions. Keep it discussions.